this tutorial, I shall demonstrate how to deploy apps with the new Install Shield feature in Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Please note you will need a Pro or Higher version to follow this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started by opening up Visual Studio. And we're going to create a new project. And under uh, Install Shield, select um, the main project. For this setup project, I'm going to um, deploy my old tic-tac-toe game that I used in an example of my last uh, deployment uh, tutorial. But now we're going to start by going to the options and we're going to give it uh, a name and have co company details and version details. It will also give you the option to add in a URL which is actually very useful. Now we're going to look at the installation requirements and if you're developing that using Visual Studio you're probably going to need a version of the .NET framework since uh, Visual Studio 2010 uses uh, 4.0 uh, that's what we're going to be selecting and now we're going to add the application files and this can be found under the project you want to deploy and under the binary uh, folder so just uh, select all these files and click open and now we're going to create some shortcuts uh, just get rid of the, the vhost.exe and select the tic-tac-toe.exe and we're going to also add a shortcut to the desktop as well as to the start menu. Unless you create some registry entries, you will not need to add any entries. And now you can optionally add an end user license agreement. I just created one here for an example. And once you're done, just click the debug button we're going to compile this project. Okay, once this finishes, uh, you will find the deployment project in the project folder in Visual Studio. Let's navigate to projects, uh, set up tic-tac-toe, set up tic-tac-toe, and we'll just keep digging in. Uh, we'll select Express and then we'll select a CD underscore ROM because we deployed this specifically to a CD ROM in disk one and we will see our setup project right here. Just go double click a setup.exe and it will uh, set up the project. And as you see the license agreement is here which is actually really cool. And we'll uh, be able to add in some information. You can also add serial keys in here if you have a proprietary pro project you want to sell. And that's it for the installation. As you see, there's a new shortcut on my desktop which launches the application. And the application is fully functional. And if you go to the start menu, you will see the company name and the project. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to the hackersjournal.tk.